Hi, my name is Steve Houston. Welcome to my channel where I discuss all things related to financial services, the products, the compensation plans. We compare the IMOs and the standard is where I need to supply third-party documentation to back up my opinion or as some people would say, my rhetoric. I can supply that to you and then you can decide what's best for you. I want to pick up today on something that I think is very, very important in our success, which is the top five things that you must know in product selection so you don't get it wrong. Number one is build, build, build. Look, all these carriers have carrier bill charts. It's amazing to Angela and myself how many agents don't check the bill charts. That's the first way to pre-qualify your client, either in the home or before you go in the home, is the bill chart. So many of you don't do this very simple first step in qualifying your prospects. So use the bill charts. Print them off for every carrier and every product and have them in a binder when you go into that home in case things change on the fly or if you're pre-qualifying, which is what I do, before I go into the home. The next thing is, number two, is current medications. Ask three simple questions. Are you taking any medications? If so, for what and how long? Very simple to do. Uh, you can jot it down. Look, there's only three or four questions you need to ask to pre-qualify your clients. So when you go in the home, you are prepared. This is how I've done it. It has nothing to do with being a new agent or even a veteran agent. This is what I recommend doing. Why? It shows the client that you've taken some time to pre-qualify them. Think about them as individuals, right? And, and, and again, took your time to do that due diligence before you went in the home, and you're not doing it on the fly. That's the first reason. The second reason is, we know in, in sales, in, or in any relationship building, it's about like, know, and trust. And the minute you pull out your phone, and you start you know, you, trying to run rates in the home, or you got your iPad or your laptop there, that appointment extends out you know, an hour or so, and you've got your face stuck in that iPad or iPhone or laptop, whatever it is, You've broken the connection with your client. They're bored. They're trying to get you out of the house because, again, this, this is not a sexy conversation for them to have. They may want to do it. They may have agreed to do it, but they want you to, to get in there, take care of their needs, and get out of their house so they can go on with their business. So, But, again, I think pre-qualifying your client before you go in the home is great for any agent, whether you're a veteran or a new agent. The next one is, number three, last five or ten years, anything more serious or any surgeries. And, therefore, very important... It's also how medical conditions overlap or multiple conditions. For example, diabetes and neuropathy could very well, those two combinations of medications, could be a knockout for a product. This is why it's so important to do this before you get in the home. So when you go in the home, you have the confidence that you're offering them everything that they qualify for. So number five is age and coverage. What makes sense to show? I find this a lot. When we get agents in the home, they call us up and say, hey, I got a 78-year-old. He wants $150,000. Remember... Our job as agents is to match the client's age, medical conditions with the right product, right? So they may want $150,000 at 78 years old. They may not qualify for it. And even if you could find it, they probably couldn't afford it, right? And this doesn't make sense. So remember, it's not necessarily what they want. It's not necessarily what they put down in the form. It really isn't even about their mortgage in terms of the amount of mortgage. It's what they could qualify for that matters, not what they want. And your job is, and my job as an agent is to go in there and present their options in a positive manner and let them know what they qualify for. So again, as I wrap this video up, one of the best ways to be a better agent to succeed in mortgage section or final expense, I truly believe, is when setting the appointment, get this information and be able to pre-qualify and be prepared before going into the home and not be fumbling around trying to do this when sitting face-to-face -face with a client. I know this video is short, but it is paramount to your success. The two things you've got to learn in this business to be successful is how to convert a lead into an appointment. You've got to have that ongoing role play, coaching, mentor, day-to-day, -day, case by case, forever, but certainly very early that first three to six months you're in the business. And that's the key to success here. It's not a matter who you sign up with. It's who you partner with for success. And that person, I believe, has to be leading from the front. He can't teach you what he's not willing to do himself. That's just a basic principle that I have when I'm looking for a coach or a mentor. I look at the IMO and I look at who I'm signing up with. Do they have a training program that's time-tested and proven that I can plug myself into and duplicate, imitate, not innovate? 
These are key principles when looking for an IMO. So if you're looking for a place to go, it's not just about the IMO. It's about the IMO and the coach and mentor that you're signing up with. If they're a recruiter, you need to run away. So I believe preparation leads to confidence, and confidence leads to writing more apps. And that's what's best for our client. It's also what's best for you. And as I finish the video, remember, as I always say on my videos, the surest way not to succeed is to be determined. The surest way to succeed is to be determined never to quit. Failing is, must be an option. That's how we learn as human beings. But if you, if you quit, stop. But if you quit, you're quitting on yourself. There's no reason to do that. Make a quality decision. If you are looking for a place to go, give me a call. We can help. It may not be with us, but I can certainly kind of narrow down the playing field for you so you can make a quality decision because it's all about you. It's about your success, and you don't want to get somewhere where you don't feel comfortable and then can't leave. So, so give me a call. Shoot me a text. Send me an email, and I'm more than happy to have a conversation with you. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. The next video it's going to be powerful. We're going to go back to how to choose the right type of mortgage station, final expense coverage. We talked about the four types of insurance products, and now we're going to talk about which ones are best for mortgage station and final expense. I'll try to put that video right up here. Do as all the YouTubers want you to do, please, and that is, look, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Make me a comment below. I try to respond to all comments. Mash the subscribe button and hit that bell. And as I always close my video, because I feel it's so very, very important, remember, the surest way to succeed is to be determined never to quit. Not fail, because that's how we learn. You're going to fail and fail often. Don't be afraid to be bad before you're good. Hey, listen, that's it for today. I'm going to head to Florida. Got my Tommy Bahama shirt on. Got my beach hat on. I'm going to go to Florida, grab me some leads, go run some production at night with my non-resident license, and I'm going to pay for my vacation at night while working those leads. See you later. Bye-bye. I'm back from our beach vacation. Look, the great thing about this business is, is we can go to the beach in Florida for 10 days. If need be, we can grab some leads. We can get a non-resident license before we leave, and we can work our business down there while we're enjoying the day on the beach. I, I love that about this business. And I want to say that based on that last video, I've received hundreds of texts, emails, phone calls from a lot of you that watched that video that really got the message of what we do in building residual and passive income can give us control of our lives. Is that true work-life balance?